Hey guys, it's me Leonard. Welcome back to another PUBG video for Xbox One. With the last update on Saturday, I'm not hopeful we will see an update in the early parts of this week. So in this video, we're going over the weekly suggested features. Stuff you want added to the game, not bug fixes or changes to what's already there. That's a separate video I will upload later this week, but new additions to the game that players want to see. First, as always, leave a like and share if you enjoy and your suggestions do matter, so leave them in the comments and let's jump into the first one. We've got five altogether and the number five in most suggested features, pick by you guys and not me is being able to heal in cars when not the driver obviously you can't heal when driving but teammates should be able to heal themselves since they're not doing anything else i can understand wanting this one personally there doesn't seem to be a reason why you shouldn't be able to do this if we're talking about level of realism which the game tries to provide the only reason i can see that they won't want to add this is maybe to stop players going in vehicles to stay safe while your whole squad heals up also if you're on the other side and you're planning to ambush a car all the players in it are always going to be at full health so tips the balance towards vehicles in an already uncertain certain meta with cars of course you can already use healing if the driver is going slow enough but once you reach a certain speed it stops so if you're going slow you become susceptible to being attacked so it kind of already is kind of balanced and personally i don't find this to be an issue in fact i kind of like the way things are with not being able to heal properly in cars as it kind of makes things more difficult but of course you guys can let me know what you think about that one the next most suggested feature of the week is being able to follow players camera who kill you in the game lots of people want this feature it seems like other fps games pvp games and shooter games after dying you can follow the camera of the player who kills you for a bit it's a feature that is used in fortnite as well and it's popular with players there which is why it could potentially work in battlegrounds why do we need it well it's fun to just watch the game after you die i guess it's a good way to learn how you die so you can learn to improve from future games it can also be used to see characters and glitchers or people who are cheating when they kill you it could prevent that a bunch of other things as well that i'm not mentioning i'm sure but of course this feature would come with its own set of problems and would require some restriction chat would need to be disabled after you die if they decide to implement proximity chat because if you die and there is someone else in the area and the player who killed you doesn't see them you could potentially give away their all the other players positions same applies to group games you can't be allowed to follow another player and still be allowed to talk to your teammates for group games it shouldn't be allowed or you can only follow around your own teammates who are still alive but personally that's a feature i would like to see because after i die i don't want to just return to lobby i want to be able to go around and see what other players are up to at least for a little while next up is the big one that gets mentioned every single time and that is proximity chat and we're probably going to cover this one in every suggested feature video that we have the biggest reason for wanting proximity chat is probably it's a great way to meet other players it's a great way to play the game you can taunt your opponents who are close by can be used to see other players who are nearby as well so it does require you to play more tactfully you can of course disable chat so you don't need to use it if you don't want to and give away your position but it can make for some hilarious gameplay situations of course it can have its downsides solo players teaming up it can be easy to be abused and it can be used for bullying younger players and currently according to bluehole they have no plans to implement the feature as it goes against microsoft policy for exactly that reason players in the past use it to bully other players so will we see this feature personally i don't think we're going to see it anytime soon if at all but i would like to see it because games where i've played with proximity chat are always much funner as you meet a bunch of interesting people but i just really don't think this will be a feature in the game at least not while it's in preview next up guys we have practice servers or a shooting range and this is where you can practice your skills, test out weapons, play around with sensitivity settings, and learn the differences of the weapons. Practice servers, I'm not 100% certain on, as it's just essentially playing the game without seeing leaderboards and stuff like that. But a shooting range, we need definitely as soon as possible, because it's very frustrating to have to play around with the sensitivity settings and practice with guns. When some games you can go 20 minutes without shooting anyone at all, you can go to higher risk areas to get practice, but I think a shooting range is something they need to add as soon as possible. However, the game is still in early access and the PC version still doesn't have this feature. So while it's highly requested and there is no reason why players would not want to see a practice range, don't expect to see one anytime in the near future on console. For now, we will just have to stick to dropping into the school or the military base and places like that to get shooting practice. Our final suggested feature from you guys is the ability to shoot while you are downed. It's one I really want to see as well, being able 
to shoot players when you are not down. Of course, that only works in squad games. After all, the game talks about realism, and unless you get headshot, you're still crawling around, and you should still be able to hold and shoot a gun. To make it more balanced, I think perfect sight should be that you only can shoot a pistol while you're down. That does happen in a lot of games where you can only shoot with your pistol. Of course, you have to be carrying a pistol first in order to be able to do that. The good thing about this is not only does it add to the realism and make killing down players more difficult and dangerous, but it gives some purpose to pistols in the game, as their usefulness once you get a regular weapon becomes fairly obsolete. They can be useful in certain situations, but they go fairly unused. And I guess the significance of a pistol is definitely much more now since we got the previous update on Saturday, where you have pistols on the D-pad now instead of in between your regular weapons while pressing Y. So everyone so most people carry a pistol now, but they are still relatively unused. But allowing you to shoot pistols on the ground will give them much more purpose than they currently have. Well, that is it for the top five features suggested for the next update. Some are likely to happen. Things like proximity chat, while requested a lot, are on the fence if they will happen or not. The same with a practice range. That's currently not implemented on PC, so I wouldn't expect to see that anytime soon. Don't forget to leave your suggestions as always for what you agree or disagree with in the video or any other suggestions you think are worth adding to future updates for the game. I'll be back again later this week with another video similar to this one going over the current meta, bugs and stuff like that. We have a video like this every week and of course going over any potential updates that we have. So make sure you look out for those. Anyway, as always, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to leave a like below guys. The support is greatly appreciated on the channel. So that would be really awesome. Subscribe if you're new around for similar videos to this one and I will catch you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace out.